What's up, monsters and friends? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's episode, we are going to walk around the beautiful city of Gorlitz. It's around a one hour drive from Dresden. It's the next big city going to Poland. This nostalgic city wasn't destroyed during the World War II, so they're very much intact. Look around. These are original buildings from way back um, middle middle age. So I hope you enjoy this video. Let's get started. From our window car, we can't help but to get excited of the incredible architectural design in the far east city of Gorlitz. We parked our car in the upper market or upper market area, just beside the Holy Trinity Church. During our trip, it is still mandatory to have a vaccine proof or negative test result valid for 24 hours before you will be able to dine in in an outdoor seating restaurant. We started our walking tour from the Bruderstrasse, but before that, we were lucky to see a mobile COVID test bus just on the left side of the fountain area. So why not? It's my chance to finally eat out in a restaurant. The test is free of charge and done in 10 minutes. So while waiting for the result, it's posing time! So finally, it feels like I graduated. <laughs> I finally have my negative certificate, negative corona test. Valid for 24 hours. So now we can finally dine in here in Gurlitz. Let's check this out. Oh, yung gada. Marami pa dito. Gorlitz is a town in eastern Germany on the Polish border. It's known for its well-preserved old town where buildings of different eras show off a wealth of architectural styles. Some of its features are the St. Peter Church. It's a late Gothic church with two steeples and the early 18th century sun organ. The early Renaissance Schoenhof and adjacent buildings are home to the Silesian Museum, displaying German, Polish, and Czech art and history. The Görlitzer Untermarkt is the central square in the old town. The town hall and thus also the majority of the administration have always had their seat on this square. The square is divided into a northern and southern part by the central development. The City Council is a building which combines Gothic, Renaissance, Baroque, and Neo-Renaissance style. It is actually very easy to go around the old city of Gurlitz. 
as you only need to make a round tour and you can see almost all the historical buildings of the city. Popsi said that's already the border going to Poland. And then, dito sa side na to, still Germany. We're going up to the church. Medyo hillside siya. That's the border sign. Grabe diba? Wala naman nagchecheck. There's no border patrol or something. The St. Peter and St. Paul Church was once part of the castle sovereign. Some of the parts of the west facade have been retained from the previous late Romanesque construction, which was significantly smaller. In 1372, the church became the main church of the city. The towers of Gerlitz were first mentioned in 1348 and served as the city's defense ring until the start of the 19th century. And just beside the Nicholas Tower, we tried our luck to get a seat and finally dine in a restaurant after a long time of lockdown. And we were very much satisfied with the delicious meal they offered. Hi, Smitty. Just few meters from St. Nicholas Tower is the entrance to the Nicholas Schwinger, which offer a great relaxation in between the city in this heat. The Nicholas Schwinger is one of the only two remaining relics of the double city wall of Gerlitz. It was originally used to protect the city by means of its four city towers, numerous bastions, and mighty gate structures. The Schwinger ends on the other side of the St. Peter and Paul's Church. After that, we walked a little bit forward and turned left to the Bundesstrasse, all the way back to the Holy Trinity Church. decided to walk past the parking and to discover more on the other side of Gerlitz, which is a museum and another incredible tower. The Gerlitzer Obermarkt or Upper Market counts with an approximately east-west distance of 250 meters, the largest squares in the historic Gerlitz Old Town. It has the shape of a rectangle, the east and west sides of which are slightly tapered. The Obermarkt, with buildings from numerous eras, is the gateway to Gerlitz Old Town.
after our short visit to this area, it's time to pack up and get ready to go on a side trip to Bex Dorfasi. Bergstorfer Sea is just a few minutes' drive from the magnificent buildings of the historic old town. The moms and friends were on a side trip here in Bergstorfer Sea, or in short, it's a lake. Look, it's a beach. You have to bring your own umbrella or tent. This is super in it. Let's check it out. Bestdorf Lake opens up a real natural paradise. With its 960 hectares of glittering water, sandy beaches, and the lush green of the 420 meter high crown, Gurlitz Local Mountain. With fantastic views of the surrounding mountains, holiday makers will find relaxation here in every season and a perfect complement to a stroll through town. With this, I can definitely say that Gurlitz is a complete package destination, great for history lovers and families for recreational time. So, meron din silang grill area. Ayan. So, it's not allowed to grill on the grass. To avoid fire, of course. The only grill shop or restaurant here. So that's it for today, Momchis and friends. I hope you like our video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please hit the red button and the notification bell so you'll be updated. Thank you so much for watching and be soon. Cheers!